Of Maxima PC's holiday issue has a hefty free section, so we asked editor in chief Will Smith to come back and talk free stuff for your PC and your stomach. Welcome back to the show, Will. Thank you, sir. I understand that you are currently, well, obviously, you have 53 no cost ways to get more yeah. awesome stuff from your PC. It's like Cosmo, but without the we naughty We like stock. to think of ourselves as the Cosmo of nerds, really. It's actually, it's minus a little sex talk. <laughs> <laughs> maybe yeah, just, just a little. Have you thought about it? Well, I mean, maybe that's the way to go. Man, that'll help us. Uh, yeah, yeah. Boost, boost circulation. Or How to whatever. meet the women of Wow? I, <laughs> you know, there's sites about that. I, I hear. So I don't know. We should probably move straight to your top pick. Top, first you top pick. Um, well, my top pick was Dropbox, but you, but you ganked that. I, well, I didn't gank that. Which is um, we can mention. You, you guys get priority because it's your show. What's your favorite thing about Dropbox? Favorite thing about Dropbox is that it, it's a. It's on my file system, right. so I can make uh, sim links. We've talked about this before, but I can make sim links. Okay. I can do whatever I can to any, anything in the file system. Dropbox. It is glorious. And it's, you can use it to share files. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I have five gigabytes free because I, I, I invited a lot of friends. So invite friends, get more space without paying. Number two on your list, which is um, actually one on the list in the teleprompter. One, one on the list in the teleprompter <laughs> is uh, SourceForge apps, right? Mm -hmm. SourceForge apps. If you look at all the stuff that's available on SourceForge right now, you're looking at FileZilla, Audacity, SourceForge.net, SourceForge.com is something else. I don't have any idea what it is, actually. We can but check. <laughs> I don't know if it's a good idea. It might, might not be safe for work. <laughs> that would be um, bad. But yeah, I mean, every, all, there's all these amazing open source apps, um, Audacity, source, uh, uh, FileZilla, 7-Zip, um, I'm forgetting some. Well, if you don't know what I mean, SourceForge is, it's a collection of open source applications. Yeah. It is the center for it's development It's a repository. And tracking. Yeah, it's a repository for file tracking for people who are working on these really distributed open source projects to come and, and post their favorite stuff. And there's amazing stuff in there that you've never heard of that will solve your problem if you're just if you just go to SourceForge and start searching. Exactly. Um, next thing we like, annual credit report. Uh, there's a ton of scam sites. It's a good idea to keep an eye on your credit for fairly obvious reasons, you know, so you know where you stand. You don't have any surprises when you go to the bank. Um, there's a lot of scam sites. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to name any of them, but there's one that's legitimate and real. It's free. You can get a credit report once, once a year, I believe, right. from the three major agencies. It's called annualcreditreport.com. Um, and everybody should be doing that. It's and a good idea. If you get a solicited, basically, if you get an email, it's about a credit report. It's probably an unbelievably cool identity scam. It's going to take you for everything you'd love and want to buy in the future. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So exactly. Hamburg. It's not just for OS 10 anymore. No. Well, Hamburg's been out on Windows for a long time, but yeah. it's 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 kind of a second class citizen to the OS 10 version right. of Hamburg. Um, the 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 big problem with it is it doesn't do DVD decryption. Uh, by itself, um, so you have to use a third-party utility to do that. Any DVD, expensive. Any DVD is very expensive, but it's really it's the gold standard. It rips anything the day it comes out. I mean, they update it three times a month. When you install it, you get sick of seeing the little things that say, "Hey, there's a new version. You should update me." But is if it's you, glorious. If you are archiving 300 <laughs> DVDs like I did recently, any DVD will make life much, much simpler. Yeah. Well, I mean, what you do is you just rip the stuff to the hard drive, right. store it there, and then point handbrake or whatever your ripper of choice is, and you're good to go. It's good. Um, but there's a free alternative too to any DVD called oh, really? DVD 4.3. And I think it's at dvd43.com. It's a great free utility. It does the exact same thing. It's not as frequently updated. It doesn't work with HD movies, right. but it's great for DVD. I so. also want to remind you, as always, please don't steal movies you don't own. Just make archival copies of movies that you do own. Picasa. Picasa Picasa is a great utility. Um, there's two components, right? There's a desktop client mm -hmm. that kind of does your I, the same thing as iPhoto or Photoshop Elements or one of those apps. And then there's this whole cloud thing too, where they you know that works it's like, like Flickr, Flickr or something with like an that. image editor oh, yeah. owned by Google. Well, it's kind of a bad image. I mean, it's an okay image editor. It's like a crop right. and red eye fix tool. But I mean, it's pretty good and there's, it's extensible too. So if you use Flickr instead of Picasa Web Share or whatever their service is called, like I do, right. you can dump it into Picasa and it'll upload to Flickr for you. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's very good. I did not know that. Yeah. So, uh, food. You have two food, food options. Oh, yeah. food. Free food so, options. So, there's a couple of days a year that you can get free food. Um, I know, I think one of them is, uh, is Ben and Jerry's Free Cone Day. <laughs> Who doesn't like a free cone? Um, Krispy Kreme does a free donut day toward the end of June. Really? And 7 Eleven does free slushies once a year. I do and there's that. websites that track all this stuff which it would be really incredibly useful if I could tell you the website. Ladies and gentlemen, go to the show notes. <laughs> we'll get him to tell us the list. We'll put that there. We also have links to Maximum PC's well, website because it's an awesome magazine. Go buy one. It's on your newsstand. Help keep Will employed so he can keep telling you about cool stuff. <laughs>